Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level further maths. Here we're looking at how we would find an angle between a line and a plane. So we can answer questions from exercise 9d. So what we have here is the equation of a line and an equation of the plane. And what we're looking for is this angle here that is the angle between the line and the plane. So what we ideally would like is this line going in this direction here because we know one of our methods that we have to find the angle between two objects <clears throat> is to use the dot product and that will give us two direction vectors and from there we can just do inverse cos of that dot product rule and that's fine, that's really easy. Um, the only unfortunate thing is that we don't have the equation of this red line here that I drew on. All we have is the equation of a red line that goes out this way that is at a right angle to the plane. It's the normal equation, it's the normal direction vector away from the plane. Um, so this is all we have. So really what can we do in this question here? Well let's draw it out again and visualize what we've got. We've got the green line here. The green line is now this normal line here, the normal to the plane. We've got the red line here and we're still looking for this angle round here. And the question is, well, how do we find this angle here? Well, what we can do is if we take the red line and the green line and find this angle here first, um, we've got the direction vector of the red line, we've got the direction vector of the green line, so that's fine, we can do that. Um, but then how would that lead us on to finding this theta angle here? And the answer is uh, a recall of the normal to a plane. If a line is a normal to the plane, then it must meet it at a right angle. So effectively what we're going to do here is we're going to work out this alpha angle first and then do um, 90 minus it. Okay, so it's going to be 90 minus this angle here. So that's how we're going to approach the question. It's going to be 90 minus the angle between the given line and the normal to the plane. So what two direction vectors are we going to use? We're going to use B from the equation of the line and we're going to use the normal direction from the plane. So we're going to use those two lines to work out the angle between the two of them. So substituting them both in and applying the dot product rule and we get 75.1. So that is the theta, that's the alpha angle that we drew on the diagram previous. Um, so this is the angle between the normal line and the uh, line that we're looking for. The final answer now is just going to be 90 minus this angle here, which is 14.9. So 14.9 is the angle between the line and the plane. So it's, uh, it's basically the same sort of question as find the angle between two lines. You've just got a final extra little calculation at the end, which is 90 minus it. All right, so your turn to have a go at this question here then. Question five, uh, pause the video and find this acute angle. Okay then, so let's have a go at this question then. So we have a plane, we have the line that isn't normal to the plane, and we have a line that's going to come through and intersect and go off this way. The direction vector of this line here is 4, 4, 7 and the direction vector of this normal is 2, 1, minus 2. So what we'll do first then is we'll find the angle between these two uh, vectors here. So it's going to be cos theta equals 4, 4, 7 dotted with 2, 1, minus 1 divided by, okay, big calculation now, 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 7 squared times the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. On the top we're going to get uh, 8 plus 4 is 12 minus 14, so that would be minus 2. And then inside the square roots here, we're going to get the square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 7 squared, which is 9. So that's the square root of 9, so that would be uh, 81 inside the bracket there. And then this case here, it's going to be 2, uh, that would be 4 
8, 9, so that'd be the square root of 9. So we can simplify this to something quite easy. We can simplify it to 9 times 3. So this is going to be minus 2 over 27. Uh, from here, we can now work out the theta angle, which is going to be inverse cos of minus 2 divided by 27, which is going to give us a 94.2 degree angle. Okay. Now, originally we said that we're just going to do this angle subtract 90 degrees. Um, in this case here, what we've got going on is we've got a direction vector going this way, a direction vector going this way. If we carry on those lines, that's fine. So we've worked out this 94.2 angle here. What we really would like is this angle round here. So that's going to be 85.8. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use that angle, subtract 90. So it's going to be 90 minus 85.8, which will give us 4.2. So quite a small angle between that line and that plane there. Okay, so if you do ever get a uh, angle that's bigger than 90 degrees and you're not quite sure what to do, um, you can either go by this method here and find the acute angle between the line and the plane and then do 90 minus it, or what you could do instead is do your angle minus 90 degrees and then work it out that way. Another way of doing it might be to think about the total value of 90 minus your angle, and if the angle is negative, then just make it a positive. Okay, so multiple ways of doing that question if your angle accidentally comes out to be more than 90 degrees. Um, okay, so that's how we do this question here then. So have a go at a few of the exercises from uh, exercise 9D. We do have one more video to come in this uh, 9D series. So um, if, you feel, if you feel like you're ready to go on to the next video, then definitely do so. Okay, thanks very much for watching.